In this video, I will explain how to calculate moment of a force about a specified axis. For example, see in this video that we are applying force on the wrench and this force will produce a moment in the wrench and this moment will tend to rotate the nut in a specified axis. So the moment is produced in the range is about an axis and we can calculate this moment by two methods first method is a scalar analysis and the second method is vector analysis so first we discuss the scalar analysis in if we want to calculate uh, the moment about y axis because the nut is rotating about its own axis which is y axis you can see here this is y axis and nut will rotate about this uh, y axis so we are applying force on the wrench in this direction and the distance between the hand and wrench is d and d is making an angle theta with the x axis you can see here this is x axis so force multiplied by its perpendicular distance this is force is multiplied by this perpendicular distance which is d cos theta I have another method to calculate this moment which is vector analysis the same force is acting in the upward direction d direction and uh, the distance between the hand and the nut is uh, represented by r vector and we will uh, take cross product of r and r cross f r cross f will give you, will give us the moment about point o now solve this example in this example he is asking you to determine the resultant moment of three forces shown in figure about the x-axis y-axis and the z-axis so there are three forces shown in this figure first one is f1 is equal to 60 second is f2 is equal to 50 and third one is f3 is equal to 40 pounds so we he is asking you to find out moment about x-axis then moment about y-axis and then moment about z-axis so now we will find these three moments first we'll see that we want to calculate moment about x axis a force which is parallel to an axis cannot produce moment about that axis so we we'll see the other force f1 is acting in in the y axis and it has a perpendicular distance with x axis which is equal to 2 you can see here f1 is acting in y direction this is y and f1 is acting in the y direction and this 2 is in the z direction so f1 and it will tend to rotate about uh, anti-clockwise 60 multiplied by 2 then we look at this force which is 50 pound and it is directed in the z direction it has a y distance you can see here the distance this is the perpendicular distance it has which is in direction in y which is directed in y and it is equal to 2 you can see here this is 2 so 50 multiplied by Two and this is equal to 220 so moment about the x-axis is equal to 220 anti-clockwise 
because it is with the positive sign then we will calculate the moment about y axis so we start from here as f1 is parallel to the y axis it cannot produce any moment but f2 will produce the moment about y axis and this force will be multiplied by x distance because it is in the z direction and x it will be multiplied by x because we cannot multiply it with the y we will multiply it with the x distance which is equal to 3 feet and it will rotate in this direction clockwise direction so it will be with the negative sign 50 multiplied by 3 x is 3 so next we will uh, see at f3 f3 is directed along x-axis and it has a perpendicular distance this z which is equal to 2 so it will also rotate it in the clockwise direction so it will also be equal to minus this is minus 40 multiplied by 2 so it will be equal to minus 230 next we will calculate the moment about z axis so this f2 is parallel to z axis so it will not produce any moment about z axis then we will see the at <coughs> f3 which is uh, along the x axis and it has a y distance it has a y distance of 2 fit and it will rotate in the clockwise direction like this so it has a y distance y so f3 multiplied by f3 is in x this is multiplied by y to have a moment in z axis so it will be equal to uh, negative 40 multiplied by 2 then we will see at uh, the f1 force which is along the which is along the y axis and it should have a x distance but we can see here because the force is along y it does not have any x distance as you can see it is passing at this point and which is at the origin which is uh, above the origin but it does not have any x distance so y force multiplied by 0x so it will not produce any moment about the z axis so mz is equal to negative 80 thank you